Democrat Andy Bashir strides like he's on the cusp of becoming Kentucky's 63rd governor. He displays no worry lines about strong early poll numbers that have now evaporated into a dead heat. To win, he would have to unseat Republican Matt Bevan, who describes Bashir to us as privileged, corrupt, and the Hunter Biden of the bluegrass. That's not the way a governor should talk or behave. Aren't we ready for more decency? Aren't we ready for a governor that doesn't spend every day attacking people? The state's attorney general and son of Bevan's predecessor is drawing support from teachers who still smolder about last year's battle with Bevan over the pension. Our teachers are fired up. They are fired up because of their students, and they are fired up because they want to protect public education. And I think they're ready uh, to vote for a ticket that has one of them on it. At an educational session around a table at the Children's Home of Northern Kentucky, he asks... And how many of the, the kids that you're serving, their families are also on expanded Medicaid? He's told 85 percent. Along with pre-existing condition, it's an issue he trumpets as a key difference when measuring Bashir versus Bevan. Bashir dismissed the national focus of this grace, which he described as Kentucky kitchen table focused. President Trump's fifth visit to the state on Election Eve is designed to help push Bevan over the 2019 goal line. I can tell you people all across Kentucky, people who are going to vote for this president, are still ready to vote for this ticket. President Trump won Kentucky by 30 points in 2016. He's got good approval ratings in this state. He's a big Bevan booster, but Bashir, as you just heard, believes even those educators who back Trump won't forget or forgive what they say were insults that came their way from Governor Bevan. Live in Northern Kentucky, John London, WLWT News 5.